Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 20 of Daughter Stone today. So in the last episode we got to, to see some tense moments at the start and we also got to meet a, a new character as well. Uh, so this girl called Omura and she was basically like going and burning some some of the like the houses in that village. And it was quite scary to see what was happening there. Like I, I was kind of fearing the worst, but apparently nothing like that serious happened, and no one got injured out of it as well. Uh, even though some guys died, but those were the guys who were with Yoga, so um, they were just basically test subjects to him to see if that uh, that mist uh, mist or something, if it was like really like poisonous. And yeah, it was, and they died. So now this guy knows quite a lot, and Gen is going to have to stay in that village uh, like forever now because he's like a, a traitor to to Tsukasa and all of the all of his nation. So we also saw at the end that Tsukasa just learned from Yoga that Senku is alive, and now it's going to be probably like a a big war about to happen i'm not sure uh like when it's going to happen or not um but it's definitely coming and it's not going to be pretty because sukazi is just like building this army with all of these guys and yeah he just wants to get rid of this science kingdom for good anyway senku had this like crazy idea of uh, using the most powerful weapon of all uh, which is basically information so he's going to try and and build a cell phone apparently. Now we saw like a the steps just like we saw before with the medicine for Hoodie. And yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they how, like how they do that. It's going to take a lot and I'm actually surprised that it, like if he's actually able to build a cell phone in that in that era with a, without like any like big tools. So I don't know. I don't know how he's going to do it, but it's probably going to be lots of fun, and I can't wait to see it. So, I hope you guys are ready, and let's start this episode. Not the smartphone, though. Yeah. How are they even going to make those those boards and all of that? All of the circuits. <laughs> Probably gonna be a big phone. Probably gonna be like the first phone that was ever built, something like that. Yep. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. I think a bit scary, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, winter is coming. We know that from the opening. Yep. I don't know about it. Yeah. Not so that. Hmm. 
They're not going to tell them that they know about it. Yeah, that's where the cell phone comes in. Oh, it's Omar who's going to, to watch them. Yep, just like Senko was selling, the strongest weapon. And that's what he's afraid of. Damn. So there won't be a, something big happening until winter is over. Also because of the conditions, I mean, they... They have to to protect themselves during the winter. They can't just go and attack the other one. So we have like plenty of time to see how they build a cell phone. And not just one, they're gonna need two, right? I mean, it takes two phones to communicate with each other. Taiju and Yuzuria. Can't wait to see them. I don't know if we'll get to see them in this season or not. I'm positive it's almost over. Uh, the first season at least. I'm actually not sure because I don't know how many episodes this will have. Only 20 something? 25 would be my guess. Or 24. I don't know. I really love this anime. I'm really glad I started watching it uh, since since it got released on day one. The Age of Energy. And they're gonna need a way to build those circuit boards and all of that. If they're going to, to go with those on, on the images. Yeah. Such a simple thing nowadays, but I mean, for people who never saw it, it's always exciting. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> this voice all the time. Damn. Oh, there's Koago, so cute. <laughs> She's gonna take it. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny way to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why though? <laughs> He's so lost. <laughs> Why does he want that? I mean, there must be a reason. I mean, it's good. Hmm. He's watching them.
You're making that machine first, I guess. Yep. Um. Oh, gold? Isn't it like copper? I mean, they can use gold as well. It's the best one, but normally they use copper. I guess it's harder to find copper there. Uh, like, I don't know. It shouldn't be. Or maybe they can't do that with copper, but they can do it with, with gold since it's softer, maybe. There's just like a lot of science involved. Is that? Oh, sugar crystals. <laughs> really? So they're gonna do... Cotton candy, anyway. Oh, it's gonna taste so good, probably. I really like that. I want to see Kohaku trying it. Oh. She's the first. <laughs> oh, all of them at the same time. Of course. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you'll like it. <laughs> Even he changed. Everyone is loving it. <laughs> Even Magma. <laughs> And now they want it forever. Even for someone who's used to it, it's really good, so... Hmm, yeah, about that. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Those years. <laughs> yep. They realize that. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Is that what Senku is thinking about? Doing the same as he did with Gen. If there's something that she really wants... What are they doing? Really close to her as well. Oh, they left cotton... Oh my god, I can't believe they... They're gonna t try to win her over with cotton candy. <laughs> I can't believe this.
Oh, but you should. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to win not only her, but many people over with new things. He's smart. That might be true as well. Oh, she's gonna do it. I'm not wondering if she'll really change sides. Hmm. What is this? Um it's like practicing. Damn! <laughs> With the meme. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> really? Really? That's gonna be the start of memes in this era. Look at Koako's face. Okay, it's all practice for that. Where are they going to find the gold anyway? I mean, it's gold. Should be hard to find, I guess. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Need to make it spin continuously without stopping. <laughs> Think he's going to come up with a way? There it is. I know some sort of mechanism. Oh no, she's not gonna like that. Yeah, exactly. And even that. Oh. <laughs> He's remembering it. Oh. Koako wants that. He can't destroy it. That was so sweet. Oh. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god. She's already at it. Oh my god. Okay, I did not expect that. Yep. Gear required. Can't believe Kohaku was actually okay with that. Oh? What's it about? Oh! He's excited for it! <laughs> what is he going to do? Yeah, too really far. Damn. Yep. Oh my god, look at that. I still don't know how they got all of that gold. Damn. If it was this time, they would be rich. What did he do? I'm really curious. <laughs> He's so exhausted. It's something to do with, like, with electricity. Oh, they're gonna use the, the water. Yeah, that's really smart. Yep. That was actually really smart. Now it's like automatic. Yep. Of course he knows. <laughs> it also exists now, so... Forever a spinny cotton candy machine. Yep. Water wheel is way easier. Yeah, that's, in that's impressive, actually. Like, he didn't know that this existed. Oh yeah, they're gonna produce electricity with that. A generator, basically. Damn. It's energy, energy age, the age of energy. There it is. That's awesome. Hydroelectric power plant acquired. Damn, that's r something really big. I was not expecting that. But that's really, really awesome. And I mean, it's even more surprising that it was Chrome doing it, since he didn't know uh, that it existed even like uh, before. So that's really awesome.
Anyway, now, now they have this big thing and this water wheel and all of those, all of this mechanism to to create electricity only by using the the power of nature, like the the water, and that's really that's a really good thing right now because it's going to save them a lot of trouble, and it's also going to speed up uh, the process a bit since they won't have to bother like spinning that thing it's it's gonna do it naturally and i don't know about omura i don't know if her attitude like she she said it it was sweet but she was like it kind of made her remember something i don't know what it was uh but yeah i don't know if um in Tsukasa's empire they have something similar that made her like remember it but I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it that she really liked it. But I don't know if she's going to switch sides. But we'll see. Like we don't know what will happen. At least not people who who haven't read the, the manga. Spartan Crafts Club. <laughs> What's that going to be about? So yeah, this was today's episode. It was really funny, and I really loved this this last moment uh, when Chrome just came out with this idea of making this water wheel. That was really smart. And it's amazing how they did that really fast. But yeah, the only thing I'm wondering is where did they get all of this gold? Uh, like it's it's the only thing that I'm like not really like uh, understanding. Uh, I don't think they showed us. Uh, them like getting gold maybe it it was like a like gold that uh, chrome collected from before since we we know that uh, like when we met him that he was like collecting some rocks and all of that but um i i don't know if gold was was one of them so there's that anyway they're doing that and they're like one step closer to making the cell phone i guess but yeah there's still a, like a, a long way to go and apparently they have until the start of, of spring. That's basically the deadline when both the, the Tsukasa Empire and... Like, not both, but it's basically when the Tsukasa Empire is going to make a move. It's uh, when the winter is over. So until then, they're just going to, like, um, protect themselves from the winter. And, I mean, that's the most logical thing to do. They can just go and attack them during the winter when it's, like like so hard to, to to even keep alive like uh so yeah anyway really loved the episode and i'm curious to see what's going to happen in the next one so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one and if you did please like and subscribe to the channel and you can also join my discord and my patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions so yeah i'll see you guys next week for the next episode so see ya